back to my channel. So today I'm back with a new video and it's a foundation review. I have been loving foundation reviews. I've done a few recently and even made a playlist. So if you're interested, check it out. But I am reviewing a new and improved foundation. The foundation I'm going to review today, and this is going to be a first impressions and wear test, is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable foundation. I just like started choking and I don't know why. So this is a foundation that's been out before. This is what it's looked like. It's in like the glass bottle. Um, yeah, it that's what it looked like, but they gave it a makeover. So they actually put a pump on it, which is a bonus. Any drugstore foundation that has a pump is like a rare find sometimes. And they actually added in as well hyaluronic acid to make it more hydrating. So they did that and yeah, I have I actually didn't try the old foundation, so this is all new to me. This was sent to me from Top Box Circle. So the color is not the color I picked, but it's the color I got. I'll just say that. So don't judge me if it's a little bit dark. I think this color is going to be the shade's gonna be better for me in the summer. And speaking of shades, this actually this foundation has 45 shades, shades. So looking at it, they could do better with the darker shades. I find the range is still not balanced. So it's, you know, it sounds great that they do have 45 shades, but I still don't think everybody's going to have a shade that works for them. The shade that was sent to me was Rose Amber, and this is 7.R slash 7.C. I actually don't know what that means, but it actually says it perfectly matches skin color and texture and gives a perfect natural coverage. It says it's 80% hydrating care to moisturize and beautify your skin, a 24-hour hydration, and improves skin quality in two weeks. That's a very, those are some very bold statements. I will just say that. I don't know how it's going to, I guess with the hyaluronic acid, uh, they're thinking that that's going to happen. I won't be trying this for two weeks because I work from home now and like the weekends are when I only kind of put makeup on, to be honest. Sometimes during the week that I'm filming or have like a bunch of zoom meetings but most days I actually don't so I do have the foundation on right now and I think it looks pretty but I am going to go through the application with you and then I will check in periodically through the day and also too just to let you know I think this foundation is about $12.99 it might be cheaper in the US I'll have it linked below so you can uh, pick it up if you'd like to so let's move on to the wear test Okay, so I'm going to apply the foundation just to give you a little bit of background. I did do my skincare routine and I have the e.l.f. Uh, putty primer on as my primer. I wanted to do a drugstore primer just because this is a drugstore foundation. And then I did um, put a little bit of this Maybelline Master Camo Color Correcting. I put the highlight. I actually find that's pretty good for my under eyes. It's time to finally try this, and don't judge me because I know the color is going to be off. I didn't pick it. Um, my body's pretty dark too, but my face, I have like a tan body pale face, which is annoying, but okay. Let's do one side with a brush. So I'm using this Bare, Men uh, Bare Minerals Perfecting Face Brush. Oh yeah, it's pretty dark. Okay, so one half of my face is done. Actually, I'm not. It doesn't look as bad. I thought the color would be, like, really bad. It's actually not. Pretty good coverage. Like, you can still see, like, a little bit of marks I have. I'm more interested in this face, or this side of my face because I have a breakout right here and, like, a dark spot. Let's try this with a sponge. So just to let you know, I'm using the Shop Miss A Pawpaw sponge, which is my favorite. Yeah, this actually is darker, but it seems to like not look as bad. This will be a good uh, summer foundation for me, hopefully, if I like it. 
I'm gonna put my concealer on though. It should uh, should look a little bit better. Let's take a look. Okay, so you can see my breakout. You can see the dark spots here, but it doesn't look too bad. Just blend everything out. Okay, so here's the finished look, and I don't know if I'm being thrown off by the color or what. Like, it doesn't look too bad. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on, like, the powder and stuff like that, and we will see what it looks like, but it actually look, looks like a pretty good coverage right now. So fingers crossed it is. So I will put all my makeup on and then I'll be back. It looks like a nice finish, I think. It looks good. Of course, I have like my ring light on, but yeah, I think it works nice. I used a mixture of powder and cream products and both actually applied really well. I think I actually liked applying this better, this foundation, with the sponge as opposed to the brush. I find you need a lot of pumps too, like the consistency is quite thin, so I did one big pump for like each side, and I found that wasn't enough. I had to use a little bit more, which you probably saw in the demo, but so far I actually have had this foundation on. I had to like run out for a moment after I put it on, but I put it on around 12 o'clock, so I will periodically check in through the day to see what it looks like, but... So far, I think it actually is starting to match my body, so I don't have to be as panicked as I thought I would about my face looking so much darker than my body. It's kind of like balancing out. So I have some errands to run, and of course I'm going to be wearing a mask, so we will see how this foundation actually turns out for the rest of the day. So I will be back later. And I wore a mask. It's not too bad, actually, like... Everything's still intact with my nose, and I noticed there's a little bit going on here, but I feel like this is, like, a very luminous foundation. Like, I feel very glowy wearing this. It's definitely not matte, but I don't think it looks bad, actually, for wearing a mask, so that's always a good sign. And it's been about two and a half hours, so not that far in, but enough. Okay, so I am back with the final check-in. It's 7.30 at night. So I've had this foundation on for almost almost eight hours, and I didn't mention this before, but just to give you a background on my skin, wow, my phone's blowing up, I'm popular for once, um, but I'm really not. Um, but I am 31 years old, so I do have like, I have pretty good skin, I think for my age, and I have like, normal slash a little bit oily skin I find around my t-zone I can get oily I don't like this foundation at all yeah like it's you can see it's so shiny here I haven't blotted or put any powder on I find like my makeup slid all over my face my dark circles are really coming through um I look like an absolute like hot mess right now doesn't help I'm wearing like a bathrobe but I've been editing another video um also too like you can see my acne's coming through and what are these pores like I definitely have craters on my face like this looks really really bad so I can't say that that L'Oreal foundation is one that I'm gonna reach for I'll probably wear it again, like, maybe if I have, like, a few hours that I have to wear foundation for work or something like that. But I have to say, I'm really, I'm really upset that this isn't working for me because it's always good when you can find an affordable foundation at the drugstore. And this just looks really good, not good. And also, too, like, I posted an Instagram reel today. Um, you can check it out. My Instagram is jazzyfizz14. And my skin didn't look that good in the reel, so... It didn't capture well on an iPhone either, so I'm really sad, guys, because I thought this, you know, might be a good foundation, but this is why I do YouTube, so I can tell you 
um, what kind of products work for me. They may, this may work for you. Like I know a lot of people have been like this foundation has been around for a while. They reformulated it. You know, people are buying it, but it's not one that I will. So just keep that in mind. It didn't work for me, but it might work for you. Probably if you have drier skin, you might be it might be a little bit better because it has hyaluronic acid in it. But yeah, that was my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I do have to say though, it kind of oxidized enough that it looks a little bit better with my skin tone. But anyway, so that was my foundation review. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what foundations you'd like me to review next because like I said, I love doing foundation reviews. Definitely check out my foundation review playlist. It goes way back, like five years ago. So it's kind of fun to see um, how things have changed. So if you did like this video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I thank you for all your love and support, and I hope you have a great day.